Hello, uh, welcome to Matlab Solutions. In this video, uh, we are going to cover up the basics of Matlab. The part one we have caught up how to uh, open a new Matlab file and uh, how to change the path and how to write your own functions. What is breakpoint and how to keep breakpoints and how to analyze the code. So all these things we have caught up in the uh, previous uh, part one. If you have not watched the video, please watch the video first. The basics of Matlab part one. It, there are totally three parts so this is part two so in this section like in this part like we'll be covering up uh, how to write loop for loop if loop while loop and switch case statement okay so these are the things which we are going to cover up let's go to the topic okay so the first thing is to change the path okay the first thing is to change the path so i have already changed the path you could copy and you could paste it here or you just type cd Okay, you just type cd single quotes control v, paste the path. You could change the path in either way. Either you just paste it here or just type cd single quotes and paste the path. Okay, uh, just type edit to open a new file, okay, new editor window. So, I'm first I'm going to write a program for a simple if loop. So, I'm going to get a value a equal to input. So get a value from the input is used to get a value from the command window. Okay. Enter the number. Okay. So input is used to get the command from the input from the command window. Okay. So based on this, if a is less than five, okay, I'm going to else end. So I will display here in the command window that a is five. If it is a is less than five, okay. If else a is greater than five. Okay. So there is no indentation in MATLAB. So just explain the program. I say this program as example one. Okay. So I run the program. I press four. It displays a is less than five. Okay. I just run the program again. Press twelve. Displays a is greater than five. So it gets the input here. Okay. I just put a breakpoint and I enter press three and press enter. So the value of a is three. So it checks here if a is less than five. It executes the instructions which is below this line. Okay. Else it will execute this instruction below this line. If you want to uh, include the else if, you just type else if okay, a equal to 5, this for a is 5. Else. Okay. So now I just run the program. Okay, so I'll just give five, display A is five. Okay, I use eight, display A is greater than five. So this is a simple example for if loop. Okay, I just repeat here we have input is used to get from the command window. So you could also directly give the input here, like A equal to six. Okay, and run the program like it displays A is greater than five. Gets the input. If A is less than five, it executes this command. If A equal to five, then it executes this command. Else, it will execute this command. Okay. So this is a simple example for if loop. Okay. Now let's go for for loop. Let's see for clear clearing this command window. I just click here to open a new file. Save this program as example two. Okay. So we are going to create a simple for loop. So I give A equal to five here for i equal to 1 to 10 so it means the value of i will be 1 to 10 so i equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 10. if you want to increment the value you could give the increment value count between this value 1 1 is to 2 is to 10 so that it takes the value 1 3 5 7 and 9 it increments the value by 3 if you give 3 it increments the value by 3 okay if you give 5 it increments the value by 5 okay So I just give a simple disk of A. If you check this command now, 
I just keep a breakpoint. Okay. So this will keep on executing for 10 times. Okay, this will keep on executing for 10 times. So after this, we will get this output. So initially the value of A is 5. So after this loop, it will be 10. So 50. Okay. So this is a simple example for for loop. If you want to have an extended for loops for j equal to 1 to 10. So it, and then so if you check here, okay. It executes here and it okay. So it executes 10 times and then once the 10 times is completed, then it comes outer loop. Okay, and then it executes back again 10 times. Okay, so this will continue. So if you check this loop now, it will be 105. Okay, so for i 10 times for j 10 times. Okay, so this is a simple for loop, nested for loops. So let's go for while loop. Okay, so I create a new program. So I just give a equal to 5 while of a less than 100. Okay, yeah. So this loop will continue till the a the value reaches 100. Example 3. I save this program as example 3. Okay. So now I just disk of a. I run the program, the output will be 100. Okay. If you check, the output will be 100 here. Disk of a. Okay. So this while loop will continue till it reaches the a reaches 100. Okay, once it reaches 100, it exits it exits the loop. Okay, so this is if you want to have an infinite loop, then you put while of one here. So you could break the condition like e, if a equal to 100. Okay, you could break the loop here, break of end. Okay, you just uh, paste this a equal to a plus one here. So this is a simple example for infinite while loop. Okay, infinite while loop. So if you check here, the value of a is 10. It breaks the loop when the when the value of a is 10. Okay. So this is one example of writing while loops, infinite while loops. So so far we have caught up uh, if loop and uh, we have caught up for loop and while loop. Okay. The next is a switch case statement. So you could type help switch in the command window to get a sample code. Okay. Uh, to get a sample code here. So I'm going to create a new program, DLC. I just save this program as example four. Okay, example four. I just give a equal to five. Switch of a. If k is one, if it is k is two, this is for numeric. Okay, for k is three. K is three. Otherwise, okay. End. So this is an example for switch case. So this I just display a is 1 okay a is greater than 3 okay this is a is 2 and this is a is 3 so i run this program like you could check at the bottom like a is greater than 3 Okay. If, put, if I type a equal to 1, so it displays a is 1. Okay. If I press a is 2, it displays a is 2. Okay. So if you check now, like the switch case, you put a breakpoint here, got a here, okay. case 1, case 2, and case 3. So this is a simple example for switch case. Okay. If you want to write the switch case program for string, then you just copy the same program. Okay. I just type hello okay hello if case is hello okay if case is a and if case is b okay so example five this is for switch case for strings so i run the program Okay, so it displays the A is 1. Okay, it displays the A is 1. If I give here a C A, it displays A is 2. Okay, so 
that's all about switch case so in the next uh in the next part we will see the basics of plots okay in the, about the bar graph and everything if you want to buy the uh matlab course like we have matlab course for basic image processing uh, machine learning and deep learning where we cover up a lot of things on a uh, lot of algorithms and a lot of projects so if you want to purchase the uh, purchase the course there's a link uh in the description box you could sign up for the course and you could purchase uh thank you so much for your time i'll uh, see you in the next video until then bye bye take care